you an eggy. Yep. Let's get you an eggy, shall we? Come down the centre. <coughs> Um, has not got a very good appetite, he's um, as you see very thin, very bony, he's about 15 years old now, old P. he's got the hyperthyroid condition as well, which doesn't help, and to get him to eat I have to resort to giving him egg, fried egg yolk, hey, what I do is I just scoop the, uh, the yolk out, um, and then put it on a cold plate, and uh, that um, takes the heat out of it pretty quickly, before it solidifies completely, um, he'll eat that at room temperature. But what I often do is, because he wheezes a lot and he drinks a lot, I also try and replenish his sodium and potassium levels if I can by using two more K. Two more K. You can get it from your vet, or well, I think yeah, you can probably get it online as well. I just give him half a tab. Um, don't want to make it too salty for him. And there's a pasta and mortar, peanuts and stuff like that. He's decided he didn't want an egg, so couldn't be bothered away. Get him back in a minute. So just grind it up nice and firm. All right. And then we'll just decant that into a little plastic thing, and then I can very uh, easily distribute that around the egg yolk. So it's not in one big clump. You can do this with any tablet or pill that he has to take, uh, your, your cat has to take, medicine, if you can uh, grind it at all, or you can take it out of the casing that's in a casing. Some medicine you won't be able to do it with, obviously. But um, this is a very good way of giving them pills and medicine, especially if it's on a daily basis, because this is very highly nutrition, tr nutritional egg. A lot of stuff in it that's good for the cat. Build him up, especially if he's not eating, lost, lost his appetite, losing weight fast. Um, I give him uh, an egg yolk nearly every day, almost every other day for sure. And uh, usually he loves that. So let's get rid of this mess. Let's see if I can persuade him to eat it. Hey, okay. yeah, mate, you're on video. It's eggy. Any little bit eggy? No. That's a great way to get uh, the potassium and sodium back into him that he pees out every day because he, he pees a lot, he drinks a lot because he's got a kidney problem as well as hyperthyroid problem and they generally go hand in hand. Generally you find if you uh, um, treat your cat surgery for hyperthyroidism then remove some of the thyroid, it um, sort of ex exposes an underlying condition with the kidneys, kidney problem. Uh, which may be not apparent before. And peanut does wee a lot and drinks a lot all day long practically. And that's a way of getting salts back in him. So he usually eats that with gusto, but he may want a drink. He's only woken up a few minutes ago. So he may just want a drink, maybe, and to go to the loo. No, he's going to finish it off. And there's just so much nutrition in an egg protein and fats and magnesium and zinc, the vitamin B2, B6 I think, and iron. It's just such a complete food. If you can get your your cat to eat an egg yolk, you've given him some really highly nutritious, nutritional food. And uh, you know, should um, in previous condition, he has got a lovely coat, but as you can see he's very thin. He's lost all his muscle tone. Basically, um, his body has eaten all the muscle, um, 
he's used the muscle to uh, to replace the food that his intestines are not taking out of the food and um, that's been happening for nearly two years now so he's just gradually lost more and more weight until I think he's now well under three kilograms he could just be as little as two and a half kilograms now um, and although he's 15 which is a good age for a cat I think he's got plenty of time left in him yet I've kept him going for another year by giving him highly nutritious food and that includes chicken and beef dicery very fine prawns tuna salmon both out of a tin very cheap and uh, obviously it has the standard cat food as well he still likes his sachets but there's rubbish in it it's just not got anything very good in value it's about three maybe four percent meat and the rest of it's vegetables and fillers carbohydrates which cats don't eat um, if left to their own devices they're mainly a meat eater so that's it i just thought it might be useful to someone his cat is losing weight uh, probably has a condition maybe a kidney or a thyroid condition it's not uh, really off their food basically they're not eating very much they're just not interested in food and they're still losing weight it's a very worrying thing and that's one way i found to get him interested in food again egg yolk has got a lot of um, flavor to it it's got a lot of smell to it and it does encourage them to eat because they can smell it and, uh, and it's very nutritious very tasty um, and also it's a very good way of getting your medicine into your cat so there you are P go back to bed now are you <laughs> hope that's hopeful hopefully that's uh, useful to someone